So just coming to settle, maybe getting into a position where you can feel the body on the chair, but the feet on the floor, if that's possible. We just do this mindful movement. So maybe just for a moment, looking down with a soft focused gaze or closing the eyes. Just setting an intention, I'm going to do mindful movement, followed by some memories of kindness practice. Think about our motivation. Why would we do that? Have a mindful movement. Can you really connect us to the body and the breath? And that brings us to the present. And how the memories of kindness again just help us to open to those feelings of kindness and how that can benefit us and benefit those around us. Maybe just breathing in, stretching the body up as much as you can. As you breathe out, allowing the belly and the chest to relax, the shoulder blades to drop down the back, but just keeping some alertness in the spine. So we're just in a way letting our bodies know that we're going to be doing some practice. We're only doing what's comfortable. If you need to support your back against the back of the chair, that's fine. So just connecting with the breath. Noticing the breath as it comes and goes. We're not controlling it or regulating it, just allowing the body to breathe. And as we breathe in, maybe just as if we're breathing in through the feet, or up through the feet into the body, and then breathing out through the feet. As you breathe out, you might just want to push the feet slightly into the floor to really get that contact. And you might use words like breathing in, I connect to the earth. Breathing out, I release to the earth. We're just sitting here as if we were breathing in through the feet and out through the feet. Maybe we're just pushing down as we breathe out. And maybe using words like breathing in, connecting to the earth, breathing out, releasing to the earth. Becoming aware of the space between the in-breath and the out-breath, or the out-breath and the in-breath. Maybe that sense of peace and quietness within the body, a still quiet place between the breaths. If the mind starts wandering, just coming back to the breath, maybe the words, the gentle pressure of the feet on the floor. We're just going to do some gentle movement using the breath. Then stay seated so you're not getting off the chair. And as you breathe in, maybe lifting the hands up, bring them out in front of you, and breathing out, bringing the hands down. Breathing in, lifting the hands. You might have your arms straight, we can have the arms bent, and breathing out, bringing the hands down. Just doing what's right for you either with the elbows bent or straight. Just bring your awareness into the hands and the arms, noticing that movement. Maybe sensing the air against the hands. How does it feel to have the hands moving through the air? Maybe it's the coolness.
Noticing the movement. Does it feel like to move the muscles? Which part of the arms move? And then maybe if your eyes are shut, just opening for a moment and just looking at the hands, just watching that movement of the hands as they come up and down. And then if you had them shut, you can always shut your eyes again. And then bringing the hands to rest on the thigh. Just noticing the sensation of the hands against the thigh. What does that feel like? What's the temperature of the hand? Maybe you can sense into the clothes that you're wearing. And then as you breathe in, just gently lifting the shoulders up and back. As you breathe it out, taking them down and forward. Breathing in, up and back. Breathing out, down and forward. Again, just following that movement of the shoulders. Just seeing how that feels. We often hold tension in our shoulders. Do you notice that maybe there's some tightness or tension within the shoulders? And then taking them in the opposite direction, back and down, forward and up. Noticing how that feels. And then bring the shoulders to stillness, bring one forward and one back, lifting the front one up and the back one down. And then just alternating that circling. How does that feel? Does it feel different to when we were doing the shoulders in the same direction and then go in the opposite direction? And then coming to stillness. And then as if we had this paintbrush on the tip of the nose, just doing a small circle with the nose, like you're painting a circle. And then just making it slowly, bigger and bigger, only keeping that within a comfortable range of the neck, not overextending the neck. Noticing how the neck feels, maybe it's a bit of crunching, crunching and clicking. And then go in the opposite direction, starting with a big circle and coming to a smaller circle. And then bring the head to stillness. Let me just go into a sequence of movements. If you're watching me, you might notice one arm moving quite a bit. So I've got some company here. Bring the hands into prayer. As you breathe out, taking them out in front of you with the palms up. Breathing in, taking them down. Stretching down as you breathe out. Breathing in, taking them up. Up the head, linking the fingers and turning the palms up to the ceiling. That's comfortable for you. And then breathing out, taking the arms to the side, like you're pushing two walls away. And then bringing the hands together. So then breathing out, taking the arms down. Breathing in, taking them up in front of you. Breathing out, taking the arms down again. Breathing in, taking them up, linking the hands, breathing, it's really stretching up. And breathing out, bring the arms down beside you. Breathing in, bringing the hands together. And as you breathe out, bringing the hands down beside you. Breathing in, bringing them up, palms facing forward. Breathing out, taking them back down. Breathing in, taking them up, linking the hands, taking the hands above the head. Breathing out, bringing the hands out to the side. 
and breathing in, bringing the hands back into a prayer position. And bringing the hands down, just again, maybe sensing the hands on the thigh, noticing how the body's feeling after that movement. And then bringing the hands up in front of you, making really tight fists with the hands, as tight as you can, and then releasing. Making tight fists with the hands as you breathe in, and breathing out and releasing. Breathing in, making a fist, releasing. Breathing in, making a fist, breathing out, releasing. And this time, making the fist, breathing out, release, and then just circling the fingers. So really stretching the fingers and circling them. And then bringing the hands down. Taking the hands up to the side. And then gently should breathe out, turning from the waist, one direction. Coming back as you breathe in and breathing out, turning from the waist in the other direction. I'm just doing that a few times, either keeping the head looking straight or if it's comfortable, maybe just turning slightly to look over the shoulder. Noticing how that feels again in the body. Using the breath. Coming back to centre, taking the arms up, and then bringing one down, keeping hips, both hips flat, and just coming slightly over one way. And then breathing in, taking the arms up, breathing out, bringing the other hand down, coming the other way. Just making sure you keep your hips flat. I should just do that a few times so you don't topple off the chair. Coming up again, and coming over. Once more, coming up. Over, and then the other side. And then bringing the hands down. And then just maybe sitting, just sensing into the body. So having done those movements, how does the neck feel? How do the shoulders feel? Again, we're just really just sensing into the body, not judging it. Just noticing, it's been curious. What are the sensations like? Maybe less naming them, more just sensing into them. The arms and the hands, the wrists and the back. Just noticing how that feels. Maybe just connecting with the breath again. That sense of breathing in through the feet and out through the feet. And we just do that loving kindness practice, that memories of kindness practice. So just bring to mind time when somebody was kind to you, maybe in the last week, and it doesn't have to be anything major. It could be a smile or open the door for you, helping you with something. So bring it to mind, you might picture it, imagine it, sense it. remembering what happened and how you felt at the time when this person was being kind to you. How did you feel? And now as you're picturing or remembering, sensing this time that somebody was kind to you, how do you feel now? What emotions come up? Just been curious. And as we have maybe this image or sense in our minds, so we just experience these emotions. How does it feel in our bodies? What sensations within the body? Maybe the belly or the chest. Maybe other areas. Maybe the sense of warmth. Maybe there's nothing. Just been curious. 
It's like an experiment. It doesn't have to be any particular sensation or experience. Just seeing what it feels like. And what thoughts come up? What thoughts emerge when you have this memory, this sense? And then if there is a feeling of warmth or kindness, then just allowing it maybe to filter into the body as if it was a rain or mist, just filtering it in. And she just let go of any imaging or sensing. You can go of that memory. And then just bring to mind a time when you were kind to somebody else. It could be somebody else, it could be an animal. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything major. Okay, smile, just helping somebody, giving them a helping hand, looking after an animal. Again, picturing or imagining, sensing that works for you. And how did it feel at the time when you've been kind to another person, another creature? And as you're remembering this, what emotions, what feelings come up now? Do you remember this time that you were kind to another being? It's been curious, just accepting what comes up. Sometimes it can be difficult or nothing comes up. And that's fine. That's just how it is at the moment. Just having that intention of having loving kind in his memories. Now, how does it feel in the body? Other emotions come up. How does it feel in the body? The sensations in the chest, in the belly. And what thoughts pop up? Maybe they're quite difficult thoughts. Okay, that's all right. Just being curious, just allowing the thoughts to be. Maybe they're warm thoughts, positive thoughts, or maybe quite complex. Just be curious. And then if there are warm, kind feelings, maybe just letting your body absorb them like there were mist or rain. And then just letting go of any image or sensing let go of that memory. And finally, bring to mind a time when you're kind to yourself. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything major. It could be doing something or not doing something. Something that was kind. And this often is going to be the most difficult thing for us. You're being kind to yourself now if nothing comes up. You find yourself being critical. But if something has come up, just visualizing it, imagining it, picturing it, sensing it. How did it feel at the time? How did it feel at the time when you were kind to yourself? Now we have this image or picture, sensing, how does it feel now? What emotions come up for you? What those emotions? How do you feel in the body? Is there any sensations? Chest, belly, hands. How does it feel in the body? I need to judge it. Just be curious. And what thoughts come up for you? Okay, they might be quite complex, maybe difficult thoughts. Just noticing it, getting caught up in thinking, just noticing the thoughts.
And then if there are any warm, kind sensations, feelings, just allowing to settle in the body. And then letting go of any images, any sensing, just really coming back to the body. Connecting the feet with the floor again, connecting with the breath. And then maybe just forming an intention for the week. Maybe an intention, just becoming more aware of times when there's kindness from others to us, from us to others, from ourselves to ourselves. Maybe it's just something we can sense into and we can really appreciate the greater sense of gratitude. It's taking out time just to savour. Maybe with a thought about the motivation. Why might we do that? How a sense of appreciation, a sense of gratitude can have such benefit for ourselves. And then perhaps that can happen others. And then just gently looking up or opening the eyes.